voices of the wind. Every dream that reaches out. Nigerian children getting it just right, the latest dance steps and songs. But are they just as good with their own culture and tradition? Let's take them up on language, for instance. Bye. What's your name? Kinto. Kinto. So that means you are Yoruba. Can you speak Yoruba? So if I say, so if I say, uh, Kinto Mbolo Laleni, you know, what did I say? Yoruba. Yeah, but do you know the meaning? <laughs> no. <laughs> What about you? What's your name? Obina. Obina. So can you speak Igbo? No. No. Nonsu. Nonsu. So Nonsu should be Igbo. Yes. Nonsu is Igbo. Can you speak Igbo? What language can you speak? English. English. You speak only English. Inauni. This is Nenki. Yayade. Yayade. Yagidongku. Where did you come from? Edo Maybe it has to do with age. Let's try the older ones. Oh, you are? Indeedy. Are you speakable? No, not really. No. And you are? Sonia. Sonia, you are from where? Ghana. Ghana? You can speak your Ghanaian language? Yes. So, greet me in Ghana in your language. Etise. Etise. And you are from? Akwaibo. Can you speak your language? A little bit. Okay, and you are what? What's your name? Isola. So, yeah, you're back. Can you speak your back very well? Not really. The head girl. Hello. Can you speak your from where? Edo. Can you speak uh, Bini? Not really. So, the point here is quite a number of Nigerian children can speak their local languages well. Mrs. Duran, an educationist, puts the blame on parents. Because the parents don't encourage them at home to speak their language. They prefer them to speak English. Why? Why? Why this kind of attitude? Uh, well, I think it's the background, you know, and to me, it's complex. Because when we have foreign students in the school, they love to speak our own language, local languages. I you realize know? that uh, the first education starts from the home. So I can say it's the fault of the parents. And it's the vogue of the day of time, but um, the problem is, when we get home, I have to speak to him in English. And um, maybe over the weekend, I speak, in, I speak Yoruba to him. He picks it, he picks it, but he wants to speak Yoruba. I think everything now lies on me, and it's that. When they want to teach me, I always run away. Uh, I do it by putting a kind of uh, rule in the house that, that they must communicate in that language, and I speak to them in that language. Can you speak a Yoruba language? Why? Because my mommy doesn't teach me at school. My mother and myself, we speak to them from time to time, and they can speak very well. But they speak English in school, and I speak the local language with them at home. The interesting is that the kids themselves understand the implications of not being able to speak their local languages. Understand your culture. <laughs> when, when you go to your town, people really, won't really understand you. When, when you go to your town, you'll be disgraced. You'll be disgraced. Because if they don't speak it to you from birth, when you're small, you will never grow up with it. So I think it's like me, I never liked Yoruba, but now I think that it's really bad not to know your tradition now. So I always love learning how to speak Yoruba now. I always know my language. So it's bad, right? Yes. So what do you think we should all do? Yes. Okay, tell me, have you been... Okay. Learn your language. Learn your language. Your has, language. Any, has anyone of you been embarrassed because you can't speak your local language? Yes. yes. Okay, tell me your experience. Well, there was this big party and I had in my house. Like, they told me to speak my but I was so shy. I just spoke a little. I was like embarrassed. Let's hear from an expert on African affairs, a Nigerian based in the USA, Mr. Akitude Ogunleye. We are mortgaging our future. Children are the future. When you have a people or when you have children who will grow up to be adults and they cannot even speak their own language. What should we do? Yeah. We should introduce something in school. We should introduce which we are in the process of doing something called basic African cultural knowledge. Whereby our children will actually get up and go to school and say, I'm going to basic African cultural knowledge.